Hi there, Rissy here, and it is a new week, which means I have new books for you and new kids to read them to. So I want to give a special hello, happy Monday to Sophia and Isabella in New Hampshire. Hey ladies, this book is called Olivia and it is written and illustrated by Ian Falconer. And I'm so excited to read this to you. Olivia. I really like this book. Sophia and Isabella, I hope you like it too. Okay, this is Olivia. She is good at lots of things. She is very good at wearing people out. She even wears herself out. Sometimes I do that too, I'm a lot. Olivia has a little brother named Ian. He's always copying. Sophia, does Isabella copy you sometimes? Hmm. Sometimes it's a form of flattery, so you should be happy that she copies you. Sometimes Ian just won't leave her alone, so Olivia has to be firm. Olivia lives with her mother, her father, her brother, her dog Perry, and Edwin the cat. In the morning, after she gets up and moves the cat, and brushes her teeth and combs her ears and moves the cat. Olivia gets dressed. She has to try on everything and all of her clothes are red. Even her sunglasses are red. Even my sweater is red. Are you wearing something red, Isabella? How about you, Sophia? Are you wearing something red today? Hmm. On sunny days, Olivia likes to go to the beach. She feels it's important to come prepared. Last summer when Olivia was little, her mother showed her how to make sand castles and she got pretty good. Check out that, oh my goodness, check out that sand castle. It's like the Empire State sand castle, huge. Sometimes Olivia likes to bask in the sun and when her mother sees that she's had enough, they go home. Whoa, she got a little sunburned. Every day, Olivia is supposed to take a nap. It's time for your you-know-what, says her mother. Oh, but of course, Olivia is not at all sleepy. She wants to dance and jump around. On rainy days, Olivia likes to go to the museum. She heads straight for her favorite picture, and Olivia looks at it for a very long time. What could she be thinking? Huh, I think Olivia thinks that she could be a ballerina just like in that Degas painting that's on that first page. Hmm. But there is one painting Olivia just doesn't get. Ugh, I could do that in about five minutes, she says to her mother. And as soon as she gets home, she gives it a try. Woo, Olivia made a mess. Time out. Oh, poor Olivia. She made such a mess. She's not supposed to paint on the walls. I bet you know that. I bet you've never painted on the walls. Hmm. After a nice bath and a nice dinner, it's time for bed. But of course, Olivia's not at all sleepy. Only five books tonight, mommy, she says. No, Olivia, just one. How about four, two, three? Ugh, all right, three, but that's it. When they finish reading, Olivia's mother gives her a kiss and says, you know, you really wear me out, but I love you anyway. And Olivia gives her a kiss back and says, I love you anyway too. And then she goes to sleep and has dreams about being a ballerina or an opera singer. Hmm, what do you think she dreams about? I don't know. The good news is it's Monday. It's the start of a new week. So you get to dream about doing fun things all week long. And I hope you have a wonderful week, Sophia and Isabella. And I'm so glad I was able to read to you today. Everyone, have a wonderful week. See you tomorrow.